to the Bahamas. We're in Bahamar for the two $10 million guaranteed tournaments put on by Party Poker. If you're not here, you're missing out. You might as well hop on a plane and come because everyone's here and it's gonna be great. We found Mike Sexton. Look at all these young kids. Oh, oh, this is probably the oldest table in the room. It's always annoying to bubble the big ones, but you don't get to pick how you do in poker. So I'm gonna go get something to eat, and then we're gonna play the 25, or the play the 5K. With any luck, table 57, seat one will be the lucky seat. not a successful day. Uh, so we bubbled, or essentially bubbled the 25K, and then in this tournament we have uh, 300,000, which is a third of a starting stack. I lost all the hands. <laughs> um, tomorrow we can enter day 2A twice, and then the day after that we can enter day 2B twice. So even though today did not go well, we'll shoot in our stack tomorrow, we'll try to run it up, and with any luck, we'll run it up, and with no luck, well, we'll rebuy and go from there. Days like this build character, don't forget. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I see a little silhouette of a man, scarabus, scarabus, when you build a fine bang, go! Here we are at the start of day two. We have a pitiful stack, but we have the button. 15 big blinds and the button. Let's go. Well, I um, busted my first bullet quickly. My first 300K, small stack. I'm trying to remember how it happened. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, then I played again. I got up to two million chips pretty quickly by winning most hands. But on the last hand, while we could re-enter, I played a three bat pot with ace three suited. I was against uh, my friend Anatoly Filatov. He had aces. Whenever you have ace three suited against aces, it doesn't go so well for you. I even flopped a three. I three bet him, he just called. Good slow play. Check, check on the flop. Turn, he bet. I called, river he jammed, I called. He played it fine. I maybe hero called a bit on the river. It was nine, six, three, six, seven. Flush draw missed. So I think it's probably still just a call. So that's a bummer. <laughs> um, I was debating whether or not I need to re-enter, but I think the answer is just no. And the reason, is because if I re-enter now, I'll have 25 big blinds. And, you know, that's good. Maybe I'm still supposed to re-enter. I don't know. I'm trying to think, think this out because there is probably going to be some overlay. And given there's going to be some overlay, it may make sense to um, still play. But I think I'm going to pass because if I buy in tomorrow, we'll have um, 50 big blinds, I think, to start the day, which is a pretty good chunk. And the field should be softer. The field today actually was not that soft. It was mostly good people. Um, so, I think the play is to just relax tonight. I didn't come out here to not play, but 25 big blinds is not a ton. I don't think you have a huge edge with that sack, and for that reason I may pass. I may just, may just, may just go relax for the evening and run it back tomorrow. I'll think on it for a few minutes. We'll, we'll see, how, see what I determine. Really, thoroughly enjoy this beautiful 
location, the Baja Mar Resort that we're at. Enjoy the beaches, there's activities in case you get knocked out. Check the activities, at least have some fun here for the rest of the week in case you don't play some of the 1K events that are coming up. But seriously, players, thank you for your support. I wish all of you the best of luck to get through the day and on to the final table. Obviously, there's going to be some very happy people at the end of the week at the end of this tournament. And, uh, hopefully, you're one of them. So good luck. Well, we are two hours after the re-entry period. We made it through on only one bullet. We actually had three million chips, three whole starting stacks. But since coming back from dinner break, I have lost every hand. I ran into a straight flush. My three bets failed. Really nothing's gone right. Now I have 1.5 million chips, which is 25 big blinds. This has been a rough little trip so far. I found myself with 25 big blinds a lot. I think you're going to find that when you find yourself with 25 big blinds, it often doesn't go so well for you. But we're gonna come back, play hopefully four more hours tonight, and uh, spin it right up. Well, I am out of the main event, which is never fun. Someone raised, someone called, I squeezed the king, queen of spades. I could have just called, I was in the big blind, but um, you know, the initial opener was rather loose sporadically. Um, it was a marginal squeeze spot, really. But I decided to do it because I had 18 big blinds. The initial raiser had aces. So now I'm going up the escalator. Um, all in all, that was not a good showing for me. But, hey, that's okay. Um, tomorrow is a $10,000 tournament, if I looked at the schedule correctly. And if it's nice and soft, I'll be in there. There's a 1 million guarantee, I believe. So it'll at least be an okay tournament, but there's a chance it's just all really good kids. If it's all really good kids, um, I'll probably play a $1,000 tournament instead. So poker's fun. We'll just keep at it. Today has been a mildly frustrating day here in the Bahamas. Um, I played a thousand dollar tournament. Every time I got a hold of chips, something silly happened and I lost them. As often happens in thousand dollar tournaments. Eventually I busted, first hand back from dinner break. I got it all in as a favorite and lost. So now I'm playing a $10,000 buy-in tournament. Um, there are 67 players. They have to get a hundred to get the guarantee. So they'll get that no problem. Um, field looks pretty nice. So maybe this will be the one where we get lucky. made day two of the $10,000 buy-in tournament with 1,075,000 chips, which means I made about uh, $750 in equity profit. That's about as much as I lost in a $1,000 tournament. So we broke even today and tomorrow we'll get to try to turn that 10,000 into a whole lot more. Now it's nighttime, it's time to go to bed. We'll try again tomorrow. Miraculously, somehow, I made it through the re-entry period with three and a half million chips. We've done this in pretty much every tournament I've played out here so far. We've gotten through the re-entry period with about three starting stacks, and then I lose every hand. With any luck, that will not happen, and we will finally run it up. Um, I've been pretty lucky today, so that's good. I won an all-in with a flush draw against top pair. I won an all-in with a pair against a flush draw. Then I... Uh, Hung around a little bit. So all in all, it's been a fortunate day. And if I continue winning every all in, I think we'll be in good shape. Well, I'm back in my hotel room and it's not good. I lost. <laughs> I got it all in twice. Once with jacks against queens and once with pocket fives against ace queen. 
and I didn't win either. So it's tough. Poker's a tough game, you know? In this uh, tournament series, the Caribbean Poker Party, I got up to four starting stacks three times out of, I think, four tournaments. And from there, I just didn't win any hands, you know? In theory, we won a bunch of equity, but in tournaments, you can't cash out your equity. You have to actually cash and then win the tournament, and I did not do that this trip. But that's okay. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to go back home to New York City, not tomorrow, but the next day. I have lots and lots of projects lined up for all of you, so I hope you enjoy that. And um, that's it. I don't actually know when my next poker trip is going to be because I am having a baby in middle to late December. So that's coming up soon. I don't want to miss that for anything. So I don't know when the next video blog is going to be, but know that I'm thinking of all of you. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, whatever, and I will answer. So um, thanks a lot. Good luck in your games. And I'll talk to you next time. And